Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Hyper-V on your PC so that you can use virtual machines. So let's get started. Okay, you can enable it by right clicking on your start bar, going to apps and features, select programs and features, select turn windows features on or off. Now I already have it installed in this machine, but you would tick these two boxes here or this one up here. This will require a reboot when you do it. So once you've rebooted and your machine has came back up, then you can click on here and you can type hyper v you'll see the hyper v manager so if you click on that as you can see this is my desktop here so this is where my vms will actually appear the first thing we have to do is create a hyper v switch or edit the default one so i'm going to create a click on new virtual switch i'm going to click on external i'm going to click create new virtual switch so I just selected my Ethernet card. For the sake of this, I'm actually going to set it to my Wi-Fi card because my VMs aren't actually going to be doing anything that's intensive enough to use my LAN card. Uh, management operation of a shared network. Yep, sure enough. And then I'll give it a name. So we'll just call this Internet. Why not? That'll do. Click Apply. It might disrupt network already. Activate. Well, so click the tick and then click Yes. Click OK. OK. So in order to create a new machine, we go over here and click New and we click Virtual Machine. Before you begin, this wizard helps you create a virtual machine. You can use virtual machines in place of physical computers for a variety of uses. You can use the wizard to configure the virtual machine now. You can change the configuration of your Hyper-V manager. To create a virtual machine, do one of the following things. Click Finish to create a virtual machine that's configured with default values. Click next, create a virtual machine that's configured with custom values. So I'm actually going to click next and walk through this. So the new virtual machine we'll call Win10 Test. We're going to enter that there. We're also going to store it in the same location as... In fact, no. We'll click here. We'll click Browse. Now, this will be different on your system, but I'm going to install it on my D drive, where I have a folder called VMs. I'm going to store it in there and I'm just going to call it Win 10 Test. If I can type it correctly. And I'm going to click Next. Generation 1 or Generation 2. This virtual machine supports 32 bit and 64 bit operating systems and provides virtual hardware which has been available in all previous versions of Hyper V or Generation 2, which is UEFA based firmware and requires support for 64 bit operating systems. So the most compatible is Generation 1, so we might as well use that. Click next. Uh, it's want to give it one gigabyte of RAM. That seems a tad tight. So 496, we'll give it four gigabyte. Again, depend on the virtual memory you have available in your system. Make sure you have enough for this. Otherwise, not only will your virtual machine run dog slow, but your main machine will too. Click next. Uh, the network connection, I'm going to try and use internet. We'll see if that one works for us. Click next. I'm going to create a virtual hard disk. I'm going to create it in the correct folder. In the same folder as the machine, 127 gig. That's fine, there should be plenty of space on that. You can also use an existing one or attach a virtual hard disk later if you want. But we'll click next. Install operating system from a bootable CD. Go to select an ISO image and click browse. Go to our D drive. Now, this will be different for your system. Go to our VMs folder. ISOs and this is the Windows 10 2H20 September ISO. This is one that I created in a previous tutorial. So select open and then click next and it'll give us a summary so we'll check everything's correct in there. I'm sure it's fine. Click finish and it'll create our virtual machine. As you can see it's appeared up here. So I can click right click and go connect to or you can also go to connect over here. As you can see, it's turned off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Start. 
and our virtual machine is now booting. That does not look correct on a 4K monitor. Okay, so it's asking me to choose my language. So English, English, United Kingdom. Yeah, that'll do. Click Next. Click Install Now. It's asking me for my product key, but I'm just going to click I don't have a product key and click Next. Oh, in fact, you don't have to click Next if you click I don't have a product key. Millions of pages of information you're never going to read. I accept. Click Next. It gives me the option to upgrade or a custom install of Windows. So I'm going to do custom install. As you can see, it shows you my 127 gig hard drive we created when we created the machine. So we just click New, click Apply, click OK. It gives us a system reserve partition and it creates a next partition, partition 2, which is where our system will be installed. Click Next. Okay, so it's asking us to select a region, so while well, I'm in the United Kingdom, click yes. My keyboard's United Kingdom. Uh, I don't need to add a second keyboard layout, so I can click skip on that. Okay, so it's asking me to create a username for the purposes of this. I'll just call it admin. And the password I'll create as password because I don't really care. It's off my network. And confirm my password. Security ID question one of three. Yeah, what's my childhood nickname? Uh, first pet's name. This is all. BS answers. Next. Okay, it's asking if I want to use speech recognition, so no. Does it want me spying on my location, so no. Find my device, no, because it's a virtual machine. See, send required diagnostics data, send required and optional diagnostics data. How about send no diagnostics data? Select required diagnostics data. I'll have a video on removing that later on. Ink and type. Improve inking and typing. I don't care, so no. Detailed experience with diagnostics data. No. This is just all the spyware stuff that it's letting you change, and this isn't even a fraction of it. So, app and advertising ID. No, that means it can track you using your cookies and from site to site, etc. Let Cortana help you get things done. No, I'm not interested in Cortana. I'm just speeding through this because the point of this is just to test that it installs and all of my drivers are there. It doesn't actually, it, the, like the image actually boots, it doesn't really matter what I enter at this point. Okay, so that appears to be done. It's asking me to connect the resolution. That looks fine for now. I'm just going to click connect. So it's rebooted, asking to log in. I'll log in with my password. Oh, it's asking me to select which network I'm on as it checks my, corrects my screen resolution. Uh, no, I don't need it to be discoverable on the network. It's not going to be on it for very long before I blow it away. 
Obviously, Microsoft's trying to get everybody to use Chrome or Microsoft Edge, which is Credge. So maybe later, not really, never got to use it. Can delete that from here. Okay, so that installed correctly. It's let me log in. Everything that I expected to be there appears to be there. Obviously, testing this on a virtual machine is not the same as testing it on a machine where you backed up all of your drivers from. But you should always test it on a virtual machine to ensure it actually boots first because you don't want to delete your Windows partitions and then find out your disk isn't actually working and you can't do anything about it. So now we've done that, let's move on to our next tutorial where I'll show you how to download the apps that I had you set up earlier on. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.